you Hello. give me a hug, darling? <laughs> I'm just going to have a little look in your ear. Breathe in deeply. Little finger pad. And then just gently applying pressure. Hug, darling. <laughs> you good? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. How yeah. are you? I'm really well. And good. I'm looking forward to giving you a double treatment I know. today. Yeah, so we're doing hoppy ear candling and reiki. Yeah. I thought we might do the hoppy first. Yeah. And nice. then just chill for the reiki. Yeah. I haven't um, had reiki for ages. Have you had it with me? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Once, I think, yeah, yeah. but a long time ago. Right, okay. Yeah. And I'm quite excited because I haven't done this for any of my clients before. Mm. But during the Reiki, like towards the start, I'm going to be introducing a few sound chimes. Mm. Okay, nice. Um, which are a little bit ASMR y, so yeah. that sort of tingly, yeah, that. tingly feeling. Yeah. Um, and then I might give you a little bit of guidance with the Reiki, but there'll be a lot of silence as well, just yeah. to completely chill and go into your own space. Yeah, that yeah. sounds nice. So with the hoppy, mm -hmm. is there a reason you wanted hoppy? Um, my ears are a little bit blocked at the moment, I think. They just get a little bit itchy sometimes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they're quite bad at the moment, actually. It's good timing. Okay, um, so there's no issue with balance or hearing no okay i think so are you just about to take a flight anywhere are you doing no, because of flight? unfortunately no not. <laughs> okay <laughs> no flying but i always do have one when i fly but I, they're just quite bad at the moment okay all right we'll do that and it should improve yeah but before we start i've got out my virtue reality cards yeah, here oh bless you <laughs> if you would like yeah. to delve and have, one. have a, a tune else. into one Resourceful. I find ways to release hidden potential, giving heart to others that solutions can always be found. Ah, oh, I think you are. Yeah. Obviously, being a business owner, you have to find solutions all the time. Yeah, don't you? true. Aren't there problems every day? Yeah, yeah, many. <laughs> Not problems. Yeah. Challenges. Challenges. And opportunities. Yeah. That's a good one, actually, isn't it? Yeah. Do you relate to that? Yeah, I think so. Mm. Definitely. Good. Definitely with work, yeah. Put it on my windowsill. We've had some good ones this week. My client, just in case viewers are watching, actually, because I treated lovely Sky yesterday and I forgot to do the virtue reality card before her treatment, but afterwards that wasn't filmed, she picked magical. Could you read that nice. for me? Because I haven't got my glasses on. I've got well, on my head. <laughs> Simply by believing in possibilities, I turn loss into benefit, the ordinary into extraordinary. Yeah. And she's uh, hopefully Sky's watching this, but she's yeah. a really confident, vibrant oh, young really? lady about your age. Yeah. And uh, bless her, she travelled quite a long way to see me. Yeah. And she'd found me on YouTube. And uh, she's a singer. So oh. she brings that vibrant energy yeah. to yeah. a lot of people's lives, including children and weddings and oh, all sorts. Okay. So, um, yeah, she was That's really lovely to, to treat. Yeah. Yeah. Magical. Magical. Yeah. So I'm going to put these away and then give you a lovely hoppy treatment. Thank you. I love the ones that you do that um, with the cupping on the face, the ASMR ones. Mm -hmm. The cupping is so good, you know. Mm -hmm. With these. Yeah. Uh, have I given you that? I have. Yeah, I? I've had that. I, I, I have but given it to you. Videos that sound so good. Oh, yeah, that. Oh, love. Yeah. And then the little ditty. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, I treat myself to facial cupping mm. twice a week. I do it on Mondays and Fridays. And then I know, you know, yeah. I'm getting it done twice a week. And I do my decollete and my neck, my jawline. That's why you look so young, isn't it? Oh! <laughs> keep telling your jokes, keep telling me. 
Um, and obviously um, lines and yeah. you know the, the whole face really. Mm. But those cups can be used anywhere on the body. And I don't know if I've shown you before, but there's this one as well. Oh yeah. Which is I've been using it quite a lot recently on backs oh, and necks yeah. and like down the whole shoulder from the neck and down oh, the shoulder good, over the trapezius and deltoid. It really helps with a massage and it feels nice. It's not quite as strong as the fire cupping. It's still yeah. cupping yeah. and it gets the blood there. It goes all nice and red, yeah. but it's a little bit softer than fire yeah. cupping. Yeah. So you don't have the marks as much? Um, Funny you should say that, yeah, but I treated Jez, who everyone knows, my yeah. hubby Jez, yesterday to a bit of a neck release and shoulder uh, like massage, mm. but also the core therapy neck release, and I used that cup. And didn't notice at the time, used the cup, and then this morning I said, oh, you've got a cup mark on your no. back. So it, it is possible, yeah. but maybe I just did it a little bit too strongly on him, thinking, yeah. oh, he yeah, could do it. <laughs> it's only Jess. I'll just go straight in. Yeah. 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 No wonder he oh. was complaining. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Hoppy, if you had an ear that's worse than another, which one would it be? This one. Okay, straight away you knew yeah. that. Yeah. So I'm going to treat the better ear first. So okay. if you would like to turn on to your right hand side. Yeah. I'm going to give you a thicker cushion. Okay. Oh, thank you. So I'd like you to put this into the crook of your neck like yeah. that. Is your hair in the way? Yeah. Lovely. Is that comfy? Yeah. Would you like another pillow between your knees? Yes, please. And then bend your knees so that you're not rolling. Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm just going to look in your ear with an otoscope, if mm -hmm. that's okay. Just tie my hair back. Your first ear hole is a little bit dry, isn't it? Do you mm. treat it with anything? Um, no, I never take my earrings out really. I think that's why. And are they gold, your yeah. earrings? Yeah. You've got a little bit of a reaction to it. Have you oh, ever really? noticed that? Yeah. No. Do you, so you don't know if you have on the other side? I'll check. Yeah, have not, a look. not the second piercing, but funnily enough, the, the yeah, first the original piercing. One. Yeah, it, it looks like it's had a bit of a reaction. Really? Yeah. Unless... It doesn't feel itchy or anything. Actually, your earrings are a size, aren't they? They're yeah. not just a little stud. Yeah. So maybe you haven't noticed it because there's quite a size that yeah. you wouldn't see behind. I think occasionally it just needs taking out, you think? properly cleansing like you cleanse your face yeah. and moisturising. That's okay. probably all it needs. Yeah, yeah. just a bit of hydration. Mm. Okay, just turn your head a little bit so your nose is done. That's it. Perfect. As long as you're comfy like that. I'm just going to have a little look in your ear. It looks fairly clear. Yeah, not worried about that. I'm just going to put one drop of rose essential oil in the palm of my hand. Rose is a base note so it comes out nice and slowly. It's taking its time. Mm. 
That's a beautiful colour. And then also one drop of petit grain essential oil. Smells amazing. So this is orange blossom. So we've got two flowers here. Lovely. I'm just going to hold them in front of you just to let you breathe in deeply. So, having lit the hoppy, which is more of a chimney than a candle, because it is hollow all the way down, made up of linen, cotton and beeswax. And I'm just going to place the candle just inside, just using the lobe to make sure the candle is sealed just in the very outside of the ear, making sure you can breathe okay. okay. And then while the candle is in, I'm going to be give, keeping a good eye on the flame because that tells me a lot about the health of the ear and inside, including the sinus membranes and all the channels in the respiratory system connected to the ear. Obviously, the mouth, and down to the lungs, the eyes. So now just very gently using my little finger pad to tune into how the sinuses are feeling whether there's any tightness or restriction. The candle's burning nicely at the moment. It's just a very gentle flame, but it's a nice constant flame. It's not irregular at the moment. There are tiny little crackles. They may get more as the Candle burns down. And there's a nice little gradual squeaking noise coming from the top. It's very low. Oh, little crackles. And then just very gently supporting like a gentle pinch around the brow line, warming and softening the sinus passage just under this area.
Mm, being slightly stronger here under the cheekbone. The zygomatic arch. And constantly listening for the reaction of the candle with each pressure. Because sometimes a particular action can create more of a reaction to the candle. And what I tend to do is come back to that particular spot, give it a little more pressure or more time. And then the jawline. Got some lovely noises happening there. So, hoppy ear candling is an ancient therapy and is used today for an array of issues, not just respiratory. So I've used Hoppy in the past with children and adults for attention at school, for headaches, for insomnia, for neuralgia to the face, for tinnitus, vertigo, for many airs, and for relaxation, which can help with depression and anxiety because there may well be blockage to the respiratory system, to the sinuses, which can cause headaches, to the ear, therefore hearing, which can cause lack of attention, not being able to hear in class. And sometimes children will actually play up in school simply because they don't realise it but they can't hear as well as the other children. So I've helped children with that issue and they've greatly improved in class. And of course the candle is made of linen and cotton, not paper, and so the ash is intact and won't fall down. It's simply one long piece of fabric. Obviously we pay attention and if there was a breeze or an open window and a wind through the room then it might blow off but normally 
it stays intact. And then just treating around the glandular system to the throat and the back of the neck. Feeling into the acupressure points of the occiput. It's a little bit tight just behind the ear. So actually the main line and the second one feel not too bad. But then the one just behind the ear, key acupressure point, is quite tight here. Just giving it some attention there. Lovely, it's softening already. And then we take the candle out just at about that point, about a centimetre above the red line. <laughs> So I'm just cleaning the very outside into the ear lobe, checking, cleaning out any debris either from the candle or from the ear itself. Then I'll just have another little look with the otoscope. Lovely, even better. You can see that it's had the effect of those essential oils and beeswax. Okay, so nice and gently, if you would like to turn over Jody onto your other side. Do you want to cover on you? Yes, please. <laughs> it has been warming, even though it's Perfect. been a warm day today here. How's it been at work? Yeah, it's actually been hot in the cell. Yeah. It's quite stuffy today, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. I'll just have a little look in your ear first. Okay, so yeah, you're right, there is some wax and debris, but it's actually quite near the surface. Really? Yeah, yeah, there is a blockage there, but I think this will make a difference. So by holding my finger underneath the candle before applying it to the ear, it creates that downward calling for the smoke and the vacuum and that helps the chimney effect of bringing that gentle pressure out and upwards out of the candle. Okay, so applying some pressures again. Quite often one ear can be quite different from the other. We'll see what happens. There's a nice gentle flame at the moment.
and then just gently applying pressure in between the brows under the brow line raising if you like the burden of the eyebrow shelf an area that can produce headaches and stress and then just pinching gently across that brow creating warmth and softness and then under the eye in long lines encouraging outward flow through and away from the sinuses clearing the whole respiratory system Feels a bit tight there, just going to give it another couple of seconds in that place So the candle is burning nice and evenly, it's staying tall and just coming round to the glandular system, feeling for those acupressure points again, comparing to the other side. And I particularly like checking and clearing the glandular area up and around the ear and behind where the hair doesn't grow there is a lovely area that's very sensitive to touch and it feels very relaxing and soothing to have this area massaged in this manner and then just tuning in to that acupressure point again Mm, that was a good sound. 
a little crackly firework. and twisting to come out Oh, oh my god. Can you see with your without glasses on? Wow. That was blocking it, that was that. Mm. And the other end. No wonder it was itchy. Mm. <laughs> That's good. But also I think when you shower, um, yeah. if you can take your first piercings out. Don't just Do um, use yeah. your, love, you know, a gentle cleanser from mm. your face on the earlobe, but also into the ear as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, behind's okay, but I think in the lobe mm. needs cleansing occasionally. Okay. Yeah. Um, right, I'm just going to have another look with the otoscope. It could be where the shampoo dries, isn't it? It could be, yeah. Okay, so the the little bit of wax that I said was there is still there. Oh, okay. So I think it may well come out over the next couple of days. Yeah. That's what can happen with hoppy ear candling. Yeah. It just gets it soft and shifted, so it, you you might feel it come out or notice it on the pillow, or you yeah. you might not notice it. Okay. Okay, so um, if you would like to lie on your back, I'm just going to give you a, just a 10 minute scalp massage to finish off. Comfy? Yeah. I'll bring your hair out, that's it. Oh yes, they are. <laughs> I thought they might be. Thank you.
and just gently start stretching through the body, fingers and toes, moving into shoulders if you feel like it. Breathing deeply and if you want to just extend the arms and have a nice long body stretch. feel nice? Mm, yeah, they do actually. Yeah, good. So I'm going to go straight into a Reiki for you now. So you don't need to move. Good. You can <laughs> stay exactly as you are. <laughs> 